Hi everyone, it is Patrice from Teresa's Crafty Life. In today's video, I'm going to share my bee theme stash. I don't have too much bee theme items. However, I am trying to build upon it. I first started collecting um, bee theme items last year. And so the way that my crafty mind works is I sort and buy things by theme. So everything in this container is bee theme. And then I purchased this this year. I have the digitals to a Echo Park bee theme collection. And so I wanna work on some bee theme projects this year. And with that being said, I just wanted to uh, go through everything that I have with you guys to get re-inspired with what I have in my stash. So let's start with what I recently purchased, which were these um, dies and stamps from Kia's Craft on Amazon. One die set is this Shaker B. So it comes with the two layering pieces and then this part in the middle that you're able to layer on top. Another die and stamp set is this honey pot with the really cute dripping and this stamp set. So I haven't tried it out, but I will. So it says happy bee day, be yourself, honey bunch, just because, be strong, you're beautiful, be mine, honey bee, you're as sweet as honey, honey, just be you and be happy. Another die set that I grabbed from Amazon, uh, KS Craft, and I still need to put labels on them, um, is this sentiment word set. So it says, queen bee, buzzing, beehive, honey bee, and beautiful. Now, since I don't have any bee theme paper, I did buy the Echo Park collection. I'll leave a name to it here. Uh, because I don't have it up in front of me right now. And I started fussy cutting the ephemera and I printed off the paper that I am going to use for some projects. So here's a quick overview of some of the digital paper that I printed off from that collection. So this honey pot and honey jar uh, pattern in addition to bees buzzing around, the cut aparts of the paper pad, so I printed off twice. So I have options to use these really cute bee pattern, plaid in yellow, a honeycomb, which is so pretty, which I've already cut into. This bee in a beehive, it's really pretty floral pattern with bees. And I even printed off yellow cardstock from the collection because I realized that I don't have yellow paper in my stash and this matches well with the collection. So that's another tip, right? So if you have a, a really good printer that you like using and it prints well, you can print off the solid cardstock patterns from the digital collection to ensure that it matches well with the pattern paper. Another way I'm going to build on my stash is pulling things from my uh, craft room that is either black, yellow, uh, pink, white, maybe blue. So just some things in reach, right? Like right in front of me, I have these lobster claws in yellow, so I can put that inside this box. In addition, I'm wrapping up some spring theme projects and I was using this. And like now I can use this in my bee theme projects. Within reach, I have these cabochon bows and I can pull out the yellow one and put it in my stash and I can continue that way. This really ensures that I use everything in my stash. Now let's go into this container. This is what started my uh, bee theme uh, little small collection. So let me make some room. As I was making some room, I glanced at my trim and saw that I have this yellow trim. This will be perfect for me to just put aside um, into a small container as I'm crafting bee theme. So let's take a look into this. I see some dies at the top. I haven't looked at it in, like I said, a year since the last spring. So here are some dies. So I have a beehive, smaller beehive. Oh, this is cute that I can use, like the little house or 
beekeeper. I don't know the formal name of that. Here's a small bee that I can make and then the honeycomb pattern. This would be nice to make a background with. So let's keep going. I have this ribbon and it's from the Dollar Tree. So farmhouse ribbon, that's three yards that I can use. I believe I got this in some Happy Mail when I shopped with a small business owner. She included this into the package. I have an assortment of beads that is bee themed. So some bee themed items I do have is pink and black or pink and gold. Um, so multiple bee theme in there. Oh, that's so cute, the yellow and black. Let's see if I can make something with that. This came from the um, packaging of some of the things that I bought. So I kept that, put that aside. And here I have a honeycomb and some more beads. And I even have some more, I have two more honeycombs that I can add into here. It looks like I have a charm that says Queen Bee with a really pretty flower. This is super cute. So I always get re-inspired when I look at my items. And then I have this honeycomb type paper. This is Rosie Studio. So let me see if I can go through the paper pad to see if there's more like this. Because I like the gold. Gold and white. So you can use your scrap pieces on projects. This is an assortment of beads. Let me take it out. Here, there's an assortment of yellow bees and pink bees and different sizes. So this small pink ones and yellow is made out of wood. These are stunning. We have hints of gold and honeycomb. I hope it's picking up on camera. It's so beautiful. I wish I had more of this pink one. It's so pretty. So that's what I have here. And then I have this sequence mix that has honeycombs, there's bears, there's yellow bling, yellow hearts, sprinkles, and then iridescent sequins. So I've used that last year. And I even have some more of the bees in yellow and in pink. I have more charms that I can use. Look how cute these bees are in acrylic. And this is probably my favorite flower. I wonder, I forgot where I got them from, but I definitely need more. These pink and yellow honey jars. And these bees are so cute with bling on the wings and then the honeycombs. So although I don't have a lot in my stash, I can use what I have and maximize on it. Let's keep going and see what else I have in here. I have an assortment of bee color beads. So yellow, black and white, pink, and then solid black and solid yellow. I have more honeycomb sticks, so I am set with that. Look at all these charms. Wow, I forgot about all this. This is stunning. Let me take it out to give you guys a closer look. Every now and then I encourage everybody to go through their stash and just get re-inspired again like what I'm doing. Oh, and I definitely need more of this pink and white bee with the bling. And look at this honeycomb, it's so detailed. And I like the plain ones too. So I, like, I can pair this honeycomb with maybe this bee, right? Or this honey pot, or even this bee. And I only have one yellow and one pink. So cute. I have this mustard yellow paper that I can use with beefy items. I have some more sequin mixes. So in yellow, black, iridescent, and white. It's a good combination to have. And then I just have some regular bees in yellow and it has a little bit of shimmer. I have the pink and black mix here. So cute with the hearts inside also. And it looks like I actually have two. So I can definitely make a lot with that. What are these? Oh, that's so cute. Look at this pattern. Let me bring it, let me put it in here. It's so pretty, I need more of that. But you know what, I'm gonna use my stash first. I have some more honey pots. In addition to 
Oh, I found some more of the pink and bling beads. And here are an assortment of charms and cabochons. So sunflowers, bees, honeycombs. And here is some bag toppers that came from the sequins mix. So this was at the very top that I can reuse. Or I can even just use the bows. So making my stash stretch really far. And then another honeycomb with pink and black beads. And I found this too. I have yellow and white beads that are polka dot that I can use. And then both of these, which is really, really tiny beads that is pink and yellow. So let me know if you like these type of videos in the future, just showing my stash, because I do organize by theme. Which item did I show today is your favorite? Is it the digital paper, the dyes, the capuchons, the sequins? Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.